all farmers start the year out thinking they're going to have the best year they've ever going to have in their life. But uh, everything we do, Mother Nature's the trump card and uh, water's our most limiting factor. The area that we're in, it can be a challenging place to farm. Rainfall is very sporadic. It can come a lot at a time or not any at all and go long stretches between both. That's the main reason we went with SDI, with a Netafem drip program. We've had uh, subsurface drip irrigation from Netafem uh, going on eight years now. Uh, started out at our home farm, and that's where we learned the most. And then uh, when we brought it down to this farm here, this is one of the worst yielding farms that we had. We got the worst soil we got. We got some of the sorriest APHs on this farm, but we got water. Let's see what we can do with it. And uh, so we've turned it into one of our best producing farms. This particular area that we're in, it does make it a challenge because you have so much varying terrain within the field. As we're doing our tissue samples, we get our analysis back and we know what yield levels, or nutrient levels we need to be at. And then when we was able to fertigate and increase that number each time we fertigated, that led us to realize that maybe 110 bushel yield was not where we needed to be looking. We needed to be in that 140, 150 plus range. And uh, so that got our attention. We had our field day and um, I still wouldn't do any pod counts. I didn't want to do any pod counts, which is a good way of determining soybean yields. When we got to 24 fruiting nodes on the plants, I had never seen in my fields. It doesn't surprise me at all that Kevin's having this kind of success. With a drip irrigation system, you have really a full measure of control uh, because you can still inject or irrigate whenever the crop needs it, not necessarily when the calendar calls for it. We didn't feel like we quite had a world record. We had some advisors that felt like we might be close. Just before the hurricane, we walked through the fields. I thought, you know, there's a potential those guys might be right. I mean, it was very impressive what we've seen. But um, when it started raining and pounding and beating and just more rain and then more cloudy weather, um, it, they just went south fast. And uh, I was at a point hoping we'd just break 100 bushels by that time. Netafem drip, SDI, it's a good fit for us. It's a good fit for a lot of other corn, soybean, wheat farmers out there. I just I highly recommend it. Netafem's got the product support to keep you going and that's, that's what it's all about.